welcome back. Hope everyone's having a great day today. I'm recording this on a Saturday and I have been running around all day. I work full time as I have mentioned before and I have to record on the weekends to make time to upload three videos a week which was my goal and I'm hoping I can continue to do three a week. If it gets to be too much I'll eventually knock it down to two but three weeks so far I'm able to manage but I'm finding I'm doing a lot of just strictly recording pre-recording on the weekends. So excuse me. Hey stop that. So I am just coming at your real life here. I mean, this is kind of how I look after a whole day of finally coming home after running errand after errand after errand. My first day off in, well, four days since it was the holiday, but running errands all day. I haven't touched up my makeup except I did throw some lip gloss on, but this is just kind of kind of how I look. So, and I've already taken my jewelry off because I finally got home and I was finally able to sit down. So. Yeah, this is this is kind of it. This is real life, and I'm here to give you my honest opinions about makeup and stuff like that. I mean, you're not here to, you know, look at how dolled up I can be. So, I'm just, this is me. This this is how I am, and so, I guess you'll just get to know me, and I'm tired after a long day of doing a whole bunch of stuff. So, let's get into what I'm here today for, and what I'm going to do is um, my top five under eye setting powders, a uh, mixture of high-end and drugstore. I've been watching a lot of people do these top five and I've just been loving watching them so I thought I would do a couple um, of these top five videos because I have quite a few items that I'd like to share as well that I haven't seen in everyone's videos so anyways and I'm trying a new lighting since it's fall uh, well almost fall and it's getting darker outside so I don't have that sun shining in now that I'm finally home and able to record this so I have a new light so bear with me I'm hoping to have plenty of time tomorrow to record a lot during the daylight when I have the sun to kind of help. Um, my last video was also pretty dark, or a couple videos ago. Um, still working on everything, so bear with me. I'm trying to find the right kind of lighting situation. So again, just bear with me. Um, I am working on that. This whole channel is a work in progress, just learning everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Enough chit chat from me. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna do a look on this, if you can tell. I can get this to come close to my eyes. I am wearing, and it's been on all day, so it probably doesn't look as fresh, but this is, if it'll zoom in on one eye, the Vegas Nay palette. I'm gonna try to figure out how to film a tutorial um, on the look in case anyone's interested. Again, I'm no makeup artist or anything like that, so you know, this is just how I like to apply it and some looks that I've, you know, been doing that I'm enjoying. Um, I don't do anything crazy because I'm kind of a neutral girl. <laughs> I don't do anything too wild and crazy, so definitely something that's a day, daytime look. And then also the foundation that I'm wearing, I mean I've got a little bit of some shine to me because again I haven't touched up and I kind of wanted to not touch up as well so I can kind of show you because um, I'll be doing a review on this as well. Um, I've been wearing the Too Faced, um, the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I got a pretty decent sized sample of that and I'm really enjoying it and it, I mean, this is kind of how it looks after all day so I'll include that foundation also in my get ready with me with my eyes like this. Um, so let's go ahead and just get started and I'll also include swatches of the Vegas Nay Stardust palette as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I have actually I have six so you know five ish of my top five. So let's do the high end first. I have three kind of high end. I mean MAC not crazy high but I'll kind of that's kind of a middle middle to me. Okay so the first one I have is the um, Besame Brightening French Vanilla Powder in Translucent. I want to say this is about $22 or so at Sephora. Um, and it's not a very big container. You get 0.21 ounces or 6 grams. Um, I'm, 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 my husband was telling me, he's been watching my videos and critiquing me, of course. You're saying I'm too much, babe. Okay, I'm trying to work on that too. <laughs> so it comes with a little powder puff. And what I like actually about this, as you can see, there's no powder here. You lift it up like this and then there's your powder. So at least when you like first, you know, open it, it doesn't kind of fly everywhere. Like normally, you know, your powder just comes out and you take it off and it fluffs everywhere. And I believe this comes in like a purpley hue too, but this is the vanilla or yeah, the French vanilla powder. This is awesome. You don't get very much for the price, but I had seen a couple people review it. And so I was just dying to try it. I use this for under eye setting and it does an amazing job. It brightens, it keeps my concealer in place. I don't have any creasing or anything like that. 
and it's just a really great brightening powder. It doesn't have chunky glitter or anything like that. It is just kind of a matte or satin finish. Um, there's that um again. Oh, they're going to drive me insane. Anyways, so it is just a really great under eye setting powder. Um, uh, um, okay. Now I've just lost my whole train of thought because now I'm thinking about him and saying, don't forget your ums, Lord. Okay. So this is a really good one. I really like it. It's about $22. I feel like it is a little overpriced for the size that you get, but I do enjoy using it. Um, would I repurchase it? I'm not sure. I also use it as an all over setting powder and I also enjoy it that way as well. Um, and it does give you a nice look. So you can use it either way. Um, and when I usually, when I have this one and just, sorry, I have like a hair or something. Okay, got it. <laughs> it's a there going down there. So usually whenever I use this, whenever I, you know, go ahead and just grab it and get it out anyways, I'll set under my eyes first with kind of a smaller brush, just to kind of pat that on there so I don't kind of disturb the um, under eye concealer that I've already put on. And then I'll take my big fluffy brush and just kind of get the rest of my face because I do like to set my makeup with powder. So that's a great one. Another one that I really enjoy is the Hourglass. And this one I have is Diffused Light. And again, this is one that if I have it out, I use it all over and also under eyes or just under eyes if I'm not setting everything or want to use something else. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. And I know a lot of people have already seen this one. This is the Diffuse Light. It's kind of a yellowish color. Um, I thoroughly enjoy this. It is a little pricey booger. Um, so, I mean, it's up to you if you want to spend the money on it. But I don't get the chunky glitter. It, it, same as the, I mean, these all, I uh, give them a good review because obviously they're my top five, six-ish. So, I mean, I like them all, obviously. They do a great job. They're all very very brightening they all don't have chunky glitter and they all keep me from creasing which is what my ultimate goal is from any under eye setting powder and that one is also great for all over it gives a really really good look if you don't want to look crazy matte but you just want to you know kind of um lord i'm just having a day today if you don't want to look crazy matte and you just want to have kind of a nice powdered to set your foundation and your eye or your, um, concealer you just want to be able to set it so you don't kind of have that sticky feel from just the foundation like that's how I feel. It kind of just feels, I like it to feel powdered. So that's a great one that's not going to be crazy matte. So it's also great as a whole all over setting powder. Sorry, this is getting long. Next on my list, and this stuff is also pricey, but this stuff will last. This is one of the really old containers. I'm talking years because I have so many. I probably don't use this often as I should. And this is the Guerlain Meteorites and I have Mythic 01. They might have changed colors since or names of the colors comes with a little puff and it's these little um, colored balls and oh, I love the way these smell this thing has lasted me years like I said I mean it's probably you know half full now but I mean they have last it has lasted me years and it's a great correcting it'll help when my eyes are really dark I'll use this one and it also brightens and it's amazing for an all-over setting powder as well it just gives you kind of a nice lit within um, lit from within kind of glow and it's just really, really great. The new container, I want to say, is like a, a metal, and it has just a, an easier lid. This one, as you can see, kind of is a pain to get off because it's like that. And this is actually cardboard. Like I said, this is old. But if you do purchase this, I want to say it's like 60 bucks, something around that price point. It is pricey, and it's quite the investment, but you will get your money's worth because this will last, last, last. I mean, those balls just slowly wither away, and you just, they last so long. Okay, the next thing I have, it's actually in a blush palette, but I have it in here because it fits in my blush palette. But this is MAC Emphasize. This is one of my favorites, and I want to say it's under $20 for this powder. I do not use this to set all over. I only use this to set under my eyes. If I'm using some... I, if I'm using something other powder, you know, and I just want the really, really bright white brightening, this will do the trick. It is very bright, brightening. It doesn't have any glitter, but it, you kind of want to go on gently with it because it will kind of give you that bright white look to under your eyes. Excuse me. But that is Max Emphasize, and I do believe you can purchase it at any Mac Pro Store or Mac Online because I think it only comes in these little pans. I don't think you can get it like if I can get this out. I don't know how to get this out. It's all in there, but it comes only like these little pans. It doesn't come like in a container, I don't believe. So you have to get it at a Mac Pro Store. Order online, and I ordered online because I do not have a Mac Pro Store. So I kind of created my blush palette, and then I just added this, this, 
into it because I really enjoy that as an under eye setting power powder. Okay, next are my two drugstore, and these are crazy inexpensive, and they do a wonderful job. This one is probably if you even if you have the money and in your budget to get the crazy sixty dollar expensive ones, honestly, you don't need it. This little guy does an amazing job, and honestly. I like those for all over setting powders as well, but I could give those up if I, you know, and just use this and I'd be just fine. This is $3. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. The only thing I don't like about this little guy, he's so freaking tiny, but he is only $3 and it comes out really, really, um, just a little bit, you know, kind of comes out there. So, I mean, it does last a while and now I'm making a big mess with it. I don't know if you can kind of... And it doesn't have any, the old one used to have glitters. The one that I bought before, this one does not have any glitters. But this reminds me a lot of the MAC Emphasize. It is just a really, really great under eye setting powder for $3. You can't beat the price. And honestly, you don't need the other ones. If you want to just spend $3 and spend the other money on something else, you will be just fine with that e.l.f. under eye setting powder. It's, it is a great under eye setting powder. The next one that I have is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana Bronzer. This is actually a bronzer. But I've seen so many people, I've never tried this before, but I did because it's like, I'm going to say this is 3 to $5 somewhere in that price range. And so many people have said this is not a bronzer. They use it, well, I mean, it's called a bronzer, but they use it for under eye setting, all over setting, which I have used it for both. It gives you a beautiful um, glow. It's got a little, or you can use it as a highlighter. I don't know if you can tell. It's got a little, it's like the same color as my skin, so you're not going to be able to tell. But it's got, it's right here if you can tell at all, a little bit of some shimmer in it. So you definitely want to go lightly with this one. And you can even use it, you know, as a highlighter if you want. But definitely I would not call this a bronzer. I mean, it, the bronzer is not as pale as me. So that one is a really good one um, for all over setting under eye. Or some people use it as a highlighter, whichever you prefer. But it is more shimmery of all of the powders. Um, to me it is. So that's my top five-ish because it was really six. Um under eye setting powders. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, don't forget to like my videos. Um, comment down below for anything you'd like to see coming up or anything that, I don't know, anything you want to say down below, feel free to say it. Be nice though. <laughs> Anyways, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everyone has a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.